Hey, peace and blessings, family. My name is Nero here, and this video today I'm going to talk with y'all about the moon and Aquarius. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So, with the moon and Aquarius, um, first things first, we always talk about the moon. What does the moon represent? The moon represents, you know, your emotions and feelings, and more so that which brings you nourishment and fulfillment when it comes to the th when it comes to your when dealing with your emotions. And then along with that, it also represents the reactions, the way that you react and respond to the world that you are in. Now, we place that into the sign of Aquarius. What does the sign of Aquarius deal with? Well, the sign of Aquarius is the sign, it is the sign that deals with humanitarianism, being a service to the collective, putting others' needs first instead of our own, you know, being a part of an association or organization, you know, and you don't even say that, just the groups of people, you know, that we can fight together for a common goal or a greater cause with, things like that. So yeah. When you put the moon, it could, whether it's the Aquarius sun or the Aquarius moon, I tell you these people have the humanitarian spirit just because of simply what the Aquarian energy deals with by itself. So, yeah. But when we put the moon in Aquarius, what does this pretty much mean? It means that these people, um, these people have an inner need for being a part of a group or an organization, you know, to, you know, fight for a greater, you know, a greater cause, you know, for a common goal, you know, something that'll help bring change and, you know, um, not only change, something that'll bring more, you know, prosperity and progress, you know, progression into society, things like that, or bring fulfillment, you know, being a part of, um, you know, I don't know if I said that already, but being a part of, um, you know, any organization, you know, or association that'll help deal with that. And another way to just look at it without having to get into that is just being able to, being able to make changes and get rid of things that, you know, are no longer working for them, or just in general may help them, you know, and will help these individuals get more you know, emotional stability and comfortability, nourishment, things like that. And there's a lot of different ways to look at it. And if you want to look at it in another way, it could just simply mean that a person's friends and, you know, their friends, people that they, you know, you know, look at it as friends and our friends to them it can bring them, you know, emotional fulfillment and nourishment. And depending on the sun, depending on which house that that may actually be in, that can lead to um, vampirism. And that's not really important. That's a distraction, but... Yeah, and actually, regardless of whatever house this is in, just you know, and just having the um, and that's actually leads me to the that actually leads me to the negative side of displacement. It can lead to um, vampirizing on your friends when you don't have a knowledge of self, because that's how that usually happens when all your faith is placed in you know people outside you rather than yourself. So that's something that can happen with Aquarius energy by default. But yeah, and since and I wasn't trying to get to that part, but it's something that it's something that just just so happened to come up. But, yeah, um, now since I mentioned the negative part, I might as well talk about the po more positive part of it. And the more positive part of this placement, just like the sun, is that these people are already geared towards, you know, wanting to, you know, you know, make changes and, you know, make, you know, make changes and be, per you know, be more progressive and, you know, a contributor to society at large, things like that. Wanting to, you know, get out there and, you know be the change that they want to see in the world, things like that. That's what I always say when we talk about the 10th and 11th house. These are the houses that really deal with one becoming the change that they want to see in this world, pretty much. So that's the good thing about it. And just, you know, don't, you know, with the placement, like I was saying earlier, don't put all your faith in all that and all your eggs into one basket, because you still, you know, you still gotta have that faith in yourself. And that's just, and that deals more so with like the Leo energy, where when you're in Aquarius, it actually has some backbone, not one that just gets taken over by the demands of the people around you, but will actually, you know, still care for people, but not be one that'll just, but you'll be one who's able to discern who's really there to support you and has got your back to the end, and who isn't just trying to, you know, um, tear you down, things like that. Yeah. If you're in Aquarius or you just deal with energy like that, you know, have Aquarian energy heavily, regardless of whatever sign you are, you know what I mean by that. So, yeah. But that's pretty much the positives and negatives, just like, you know, um, the sun in Aquarius. So just don't become too, you know, dependent on the people, places, and things outside of you, mainly the people, because the sign Aquarius deals with that. Now, yeah, but it can deal with places and things too, but it's mainly people. And now, moving on to uh, other ways of looking at the moon in Aquarius, you can also look at having a moon in Aquarius as having a moon in your 11th house. And how is that so? Well, what does the eleventh house deal? With? What does the eleventh house deal with? It deals with our, you know, it's the house that deals with, you know, you know, reform, you know, creating changes to put, in, 
you know, creating new changes to implement to society to get rid of things no longer working. It is the house that deals with, you know, associations and organizations that we consider ourselves a part of, that we want to be a part of to, you know, you know, reach a common goal and something for the greater good of society. Or, yeah, I'm gonna get into that. But yeah, so we put the moon in, and we put the moon in here. You can kind of see where that's going. You know, it means that a person's emotions and feelings are fixed in the area of life, dealing um, with their dealing with the people, places, and things that they may be associated with, and you know, um, are a part of an organization with. So, yeah. So that's that one in a nutshell. That's how you interchange those two. And then last but not least, when you have the moon in Aquarius, you can also look at the moon in Aquarius as having the. Uh, like the moon in Capricorn is having the aspects of moon conjunct Saturn and moon conjunct Uranus. And when it's moon conjunct Saturn, this just simply means that a person's emotions and feelings is in alignment with the things that bring them limitation and restriction, but ultimately responsibility and discipline. And with moon conjunct Uranus, it means that a person's emotional state, you know, what brings them fulfillment when it comes to the things dealing with their emotions, is in alignment with the things that bring them unique and original ways of doing things, things that make, th you know, things, you know, different ways of doing things, you know things that bring that change and, you know, rebel against the status quo because, you know, that's no longer working, things like that. So, yeah, that's, um, you can look at the moon and Aquarius is having those aspects too because Aquarius, inner, Aquarius gets its energy from those planets. So, yeah, and I think that's about it with this. So, yeah, like I was just saying earlier, um, we need people like this because these are the people who are really going to be, you know, the most, you know, inclined towards you know making the changes in, you know for uh towards making these changes in this world at the same time just gotta watch out for not you know getting your into you know your emotional realm taking over all the time whether um whether you may be in some, whether you may be the one that may be in some demonic energy or you may have, you have people around you that have demonic energy so it can go both ways so that's that but yeah and i can say that because i have displacement i have moon i have i have a sagittarius moon but it is in the 11th house so yeah, and I can definitely tell you that that shit played out in my life, so, yeah. But anyway, that's going to be my take on the moon Aquarius. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. But as always, more importantly than anything else, if you have criticism or feedback that you'd like to add, go ahead and drop that down in the comments, and I will get to that and, you know, um, take that in. So, yeah. Now, um, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. I love y'all. Peace.